Tonight, IMPD Chief Randy Taylor sits down and has a one on one talk with our Steve Jefferson, and they discuss that past incident with that FedEx shooter. And also shared his thoughts on how to prevent another deadly attack in the future. During that one on one with the chief here at Metro headquarters, he talked about the steps they took after crossing paths with the suspect last year. He also talked about the steps that need to be taken to keep another mass shooting from happening. Discouragement, uh, obviously, that we're going through this. Uh, really yet again uh, with with multiple murders. Metro Police Chief Randy Taylor shared what he saw when he arrived at the FedEx mass shooting Thursday night. More than 100 of his officers had already responded. Four people down in the lot and then clearing the building and finding four more people and, and then additionally the gunman in the building is a lot for anyone to take in. The investigation into the suspect includes his legal purchase of two semi-automatic rifles he used in the shooting. That's because last year IMPD confiscated his shotgun after his mother reported his unstableness to police. IMPD still has that shotgun, but Chief Taylor wants loopholes closed to identify and stop gun purchases by people with mental health challenges. I don't know if there's a way that we can make uh, immediate detentions and, and reports that would identify someone as, as maybe having an issue and maybe you shouldn't sell to that person. When the shooter's mother reported his mental state to police last year, Metro officers acted swiftly to get the shotgun out of his possession. We still have the weapon. Um, apparently, uh, he didn't want the weapon back. Now, as IMPD continues investigating, Chief Taylor also shared his mixed feelings about automatic assault rifles. I have difficulty thinking that there's a whole lot of society that really needs a weapon like that. Understand the, the desire to protect yourself. Chief Taylor made it very clear the investigation into the FedEx shooting is ongoing and could not put a timetable on when it will be finished.